Shalom. Shalom. Hey, first and foremost, we want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Hashem, Kadosh. Double honor to the true leaders of the nation of Israel in these last days. Great Millstone, also known as GMS. And salutations to the Most High's man in the four corners of the earth, pushing word of sincerity and truth. And shalom to the sisters that support and, and subscribe wholeheartedly to the message of deliverance and salvation of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Uh, this is GMS Mississippi, and today we got a, a topic just flowing through the spirit. We're going to start in the book of Deuteronomy, the 30th chapter. This is Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 15. See, I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil. So the Heavenly Father has presented us with life and good and death and evil. Now what brings forth death, right? What brings forth death? Get the precept for that one. Can read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 15. See, I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil. And that's our continuous daily walk in this world, man. Hey, because we're imperfect souls or imperfect humans, imperfect beings in an imperfect world seeking perfection. You know, hey, because we right now we're in these chains of darkness and our daily activities consist of evil, man. Not by will or, or our own might, but everything that, 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 that we cover on a daily basis we're faced with the decision of choosing good or choosing evil, you know? And the Heavenly Father, He is the one who rewarded goods or deeds, whether they be good or whether they be evil, you know? This is Romans 5 and 12. Wherefore, as by one man's sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men for all that have sinned. Yep. And so death passes upon all men for all that have sinned, you know, hey, because the ultimate goal is to try to please the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. That's the ultimate goal of pursuing until what? The book of Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, when it goes into how this is the whole duty of man, you know, to do the will of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. Okay. Yeah. This is Baruch 4, 1. This is the uh, book of the commandments of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, and the law that endured forever. All they that keep it should come to life, but as such as leave it should die. You know, but such as leave what? Shall die. When you go outside of this, because that's the true profanity. Outside of this word, outside of the temple of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, that's when you become profane. That's when you become despicable, you know, so to speak. That's when you become evil, disgusting, wicked. Because now you're profane, because you have profaned what? Not only your spiritual mind, but you profaned your temple. You know, all things go one and one and hand to hand together. And this is uh, James 1 and 13. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of the Most High. For the Most High cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempted he any man. But what? But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Verse 15, then when lust have conceived and bring forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bring forth death. And that's how you know that the scriptures stand true, that the Heavenly Father has presented us with good and life and evil and death. Because evil is what? Sin. Sin is doing those things contrary to what was written. Because you jump back into the, what is that, Deut Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, it goes into the blessings and the cursings, but it gives you the do's and the don'ts of what to do. The do's are the good and bring forth life. The don'ts are the evil and bring forth death. You know? Hey, but at the end of the day, it's prophesied pursuant to the book of Zechariah that two thirds of the nation of Israel are going to be cut off to the slaughter and die. The evil times that are prophesied, the evil times that are written, the evil times that are spoken of, those evil times are surely going to come. And it's a, a particular group of people out there that are, are going to uh, 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 succumb to those particular tragedies, so to speak, you know? But the Heavenly Father's elect, the righteous, good doers, you know, those that are seeking life, eternal life, they're gonna be saved and redeemed. And why is that? Because they have not displeased the Father, you know? Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 16. In that I command thee this day to love the Lord Yahweh thy power, to walk in his ways, and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgment that thou mayest live and multiply and the Lord Yahweh thy power shall bless thee in the land where thou goest to possess it. Right. Hey, so what does that mean? It, it, it simply is it, narrowing down 
be a good person do the right thing I said do this I said do that I said don't do this don't do that you choose a side you're gonna obey or you're gonna disobey but the entire world when you look at the tribes from Judah all the way down to Issachar they are dwelling in sin man you know and sin is not just be scared where oh my god you know like it's dreadful or scary or like it's some type of you know a bad terminology it's basically just saying that you're not doing the right thing you're con uh, continuing to eat the, uh, the shrimp you're continuing to eat the pork you're continuing to commit adultery you're continuing to to to, to try to slither your way inside of another man's wife's vagina you're still constantly doing these things you're still killing your fellow brethren you're still robbing your fellow uh, brethren you're still worshiping jesus man revelation the first chapter goes into the color goes into the, uh when you look uh uh, uh reading the gospels and different things in nature when you see Je uh, jesus or jesus or whatever the case may be uh, and establishing back to the root meaning of the name and the word and the man a hebrew man with a greek title all this just cast behind you and you just continue in the way that you've been doing it that's why hey when yahweh shah ran across the little ones and the disciples were on looking he said what you have to be born again or you have to be brought down as this child you know because your mind has to be transformed and you have to become a sponge that you may fully and completely understand what the heavenly father has written for us no, no, no. no, I'm saying like a spiritual brainwash. It's a spiritual brainwashing. Hey, because in this world, we've been carnally brainwashed mm -hmm. to believe these things that uh, 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 that go on in today's time, to believe that fashion was of a, uh, a, 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 a significance, mm -hmm. to believe the fads and the trends were significant, to believe that people that are held high esteem in this world are significant and should be idolized. Right. But we got the Heavenly Father who gave us air, who gave us water, who gave us our complexion, who gave us our spirit. He gave us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and the world is teaching us to idolize and bow down to man upon earth. You know? You have to get rid of those particular traits and characteristics that you have because those are undesired characteristics. They're undesired by people in the world, people in the workplace, people in your school system, and they're undesired by the Heavenly Father. So when you choose life, you're choosing those things that He desires. And why is that? Because now you're doing those things that he requires of you. You know? This is uh this is Okay. This is Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. I form the light, I create darkness, I make peace, and create evil. I the Lord do all things. Because he's in control. He's in control. When you see the children getting killed, you see old ladies getting killed, old men getting beat up, you see females getting raped. You see uh, uh, robberies and murders and panic and chaos, different things of that nature. The Heavenly Father has his hand in all of that because the angel of these spirits out here, they are what stirs up the minds of the people. When you're thinking one way and you go to sleep and you wake up and you're thinking another, how we know that? Pursuing to the shrimp. He said when man lies upon his bed, he sealed the instructions inside of his mind. You know, hey, because we're not in control. Pretty much hone in on that, then you have a better chance of choosing good and choosing life. You know, because you know that things, for the most part, are out of your control besides those things that you can physically control. Yeah. That's right. I got you, bro. And this is Job 42 and 10. And the Lord Yahweh turned the captivity of Job and he prayed for his friends. Also, the Lord Yahweh took Job twice as much as he had before. Then came there unto him all his brethren and all his sisters, and all they, so like in all they that had been of his acquaintance before, and did eat bread with him in his house, and they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the Lord Yahweh had brought upon him. And every man also gave him a piece of money, and every one an earring of gold. So the point was that they bemoaned him and comfort him over all the evil that the Lord, Yahweh, had brought upon him. And the evil that the Father put upon him. And because you're going to be tried as sons in the fire of affliction and adversity, man. And it's true. So different things are going to happen. And when you slip, when you fall, scripture says that a, a righteous man falls seven times. But the, it's the acknowledgement of it. It's the knowing what has happened, what has occurred, and what do you do to correct it. You know? You're not supposed to, 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 to swim in, 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 in 
what you call it, when you mess up, swim in, swim in pity or, or disgust with yourself, yeah. you know? You're really just supposed to kind of just shake it off. You'll be disappointed, you know? Yeah. But, but at the end of the day, you're still choosing life because you're not let us, uh, continuing in that slump and slumber of evil, you know, and choosing death. Second Ezra 16 and 76. And the God of him who keep my commandments and precepts, said the Lord Power, let not your sins weigh you down. That's it. Let not your sins weigh you down. And, and let not what? And let not your iniquities lift up And let not uh, iniquity lift up themselves. Because why? Because a, 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 a perfect balance is, is acceptable to Yahweh Hashem Hausha. Mm -hmm. So when you're not weighed in the balance correctly, then you are. Uh, are you're unbalanced and you're swaying one way to another. Yeah. Uh, and I want to say that's why uh going back to scripture, you brought out one thing Job told his wife that how she speak of a foolish woman, you know, are we to accept good from the most high and not evil, man? Mm -hmm. And see Job realized and knew that you know what I'm saying, regardless whether it was a, a bad thing or a good thing, it was from the most high man, but he still was to keep his faith and his integrity, man. Right. Cause it was the reason behind that, whether right. it was to build them up or you know what I'm saying, or to humble them, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, cause Heaven Father, he's gonna do two things. He's gonna well three things. He's gonna build you up, he's gonna humble you, or he's gonna destroy you. That's it. You know? But all things work for the good of those that fear you out by shooting out shot. Back in Deuteronomy chapter 30. Verse 17, but if thine heart turn away, so thou wilt not hear, but shall be drawn away and worship other gods and serve them. I denounce unto you this day that ye shall surely perish and that ye shall not prolong your days upon the land where the you, whether thou passes over Jordan to go possess it. And why is that? Because you have then at that moment chosen evil. Mm -hmm. If you choose evil, you are choosing death point blank period so if you don't have the discipline to change your state of mind you don't have the, the, the discipline to change the way you think you don't have the discipline to change your diet you don't have the discipline to denounce ba sweet baby Jesus and, 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 and try to seek the true knowledge and understanding then you're choosing evil you're choosing evil because from your youth I would say from your birth into your youth into your teens, into your adulthood, you have lived in complete and utter wickedness. You know, every last one of us, until you transform into that new state of mind, it's that new way of thinking, you know? And you're gonna slip, you're gonna slumber, you're gonna fall, you're gonna mess up, that's not the point. The point is constantly doing with those things that the Heavenly Father requires, and that's choosing the good. Go ahead. This is Joshua 24, 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord Yahweh, choose you this day whom you will serve. So choose whom you this day whom you will serve. The scriptures say to put not off from day to day. You know, mm -hmm. because it was our minds to turn away from the Heavenly Father. Yep. Now that we have turned back unto Him, seek Him ten times more. Yep, yep, yep. Whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord Yahweh. And that should go with you everywhere you go. As for me and my house, we will serve you. How about Shimmy How about All through spirit and truth, man. You know? That's what you have to take with you to work. Take with you to if you're going to school. Take with you in your household. You know? Everywhere you go, you gotta have that mentality on, on, on serving you. How about Shimmy How about And being confident in his protection. Even when evil befalls you, you know, mishaps befall you, still be confident in his protection because it could have been worse. But the Heavenly Father, he constantly spares our life. He constantly spares us from, from very, very, very dire straits, even though bad things may come upon us. That's right. Got one more, bro. Hey, Deuteronomy 4 and 4. But ye that did cleave unto the Lord Yahweh, your power, are alive every one of you this day. Yep. Hey. So cleave unto Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Hey, because it says what? That never had the righteous been forsaken, nor the, uh, 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 neither his seed begging bread. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to finish on what you got right here. Back in uh, 30. This is Deuteronomy. Just stop at 19. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessings and cursing, therefore choose life that both thou, thou and they see may live. Hey, so at that point, choose life. And because when you look on the back of your dollar, you're looking in, in this particular money system, it talks about 
in God we trust, you know, you got to trust in the true God. You got to trust in the true power, man. Mm -hmm. And so with that, we say Shalom. Shalom.